How you doing? We're doing something that we haven't been doing with you guys much lately. It has been a while. It's just an everyday sort of thing. Getting out, doing a little bit of shopping. Uh, we're just down at Tompkin Khan Markets now. The big shopping complex here that virtually nobody ever uses. The market is on the other side there. We're just walking down here, round to the B cell bank. Need to go to the ATM first. Grab some spondula out, some money, and um, do a bit of shopping. Then Nina, isn't Nina you're looking pretty? <laughs> <laughs> Nina and I are gonna probably go in and find a bite to eat, and taking you guys along for the ride too. I know it's been a while since we've done an everyday sort of thing in Vientiane with you and the little um, Union Jack Mini Miner caught my eye. Here's the ATMs. Oops. Right out the front at the B-cell bank. Decent vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my number. Kiss off. Kiss off. Go. <laughs> Say she's young, but there's mum. These pastries look all right, don't they? Not a bad thing going out shopping when you're hungry. It's not good. You end up spending more money. I just asked Nini, did she talk to you? She <laughs> said she sp spoke in loud. <laughs> Why? Boy. I feel not confident. Co I confident, confident, yeah, she does it. I said, well, you're talking to me feel, in English now. I say, I speak wrong or something like this. Speak, uh, uh, mistake. She's, uh, she's got a picture when she's got the camera in her hand. That she's just you, talking to me. It's mistake or not. Yeah, well, she's too self-conscious that she'll make a mistake and you guys will pick on her. She doesn't give a shit when she's talking to me whether she makes a mistake or not. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. There you go. You can do a bit of vlogging and talk to them. Okay, guys. Now we're going to the market. And God, let me vlog. But you saved your life then. <laughs> but I cannot do speak English because I not the confident guy. Now I show you in this side of the mall they have the shop here and towards this big I'm get sick You're guys. checking out my new I'm haircut sick. yeah new haircut <laughs> okay. oh, look at that <laughs> ah, very enjoy so this is the door of the supermarket and yeah, welcome to the Sokari supermarket the Sokari supermarket okay. um, Yes, now in Vientiane everything is coming like a normal time already 
every yeah. people uh, go out. Yeah. Uh, this is spring, yeah. soft spring. This is the supermarket right next to Tomkin Town Market. Yeah, Sokabi Supermarket. Yeah, so they have a yeah. lot of furung stuff, they even have baked yeah. beans. This is super long stuff too. Don't ask me about Vegemite, they don't have Vegemite here, but they have just about <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Look at that, this. A lot of the long food here. So guys, if you come to visit Lao, you don't worry about your food, because they have a lot of long food. Yeah. Red milk, 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 so yeah, and milk and bottles. Look at that, they have many, many kinds of butter. Oh, they have many of uh, what, what this you call, I don't know, cheese too, right? Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is about ninety six thousand eight one. It's about 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 five dollars. About five dollars per one. It's not expensive, right? If you compare in in abroad. Hmm? We need another chicken breast one. Garlic, garlic flavored wraps, yeah, yeah, they're good. Let's and a whole wheat, Let's whole meal one, yeah, that'll do. We got a price on them? Yeah. What's that, 74,000 kip? Wow, that's about. Four dollars. For four dollars. Four US bucks for eight wraps, 50 cents each. Uh, good on the springers. There you go, supermarket cost of a beer. 13,000 kip. Uh, you're looking at about 80 cents for a largey. For a largey. Eh? Carlsberg, 15,000. Carlsberg, yeah, but that's only a stubby. Not like the big 750. Summerby. Summersby, what's Summersby. what is it for one of those? It's eleven. Eleven thousand. Okay. For a Summersby stubby. Eleven thousand. So you're looking about dollar fifteen Oz. We know how much we're paying for them in Australia, don't we? It's not a bloody dollar fifteen. No. Dollar fifteen Oz is seventy to eighty cents US. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Just a dollar on that. A dollar chocolate. Cake. Yeah, chuck that in, honey. I'll have that for dessert <laughs> tonight. Pick it up. Yeah, yeah. You've picked it up. You can't put it back once you pick it up, honey. That's this that, one or that's the one? rule. Uh, which, one, which one? It's up to you. If you like lots of nuts, get brownie. lots. Brownie. It's a brownie. Brownie. What's that? It's a brownie too. I like it. Yeah. You like, like yeah. The one? Yeah. That looked better. Yeah. What do you need? Do you need anything? Hmm? Is there anything you need? No. I'm going to look for the no, beans. Food. Tomato ketchup. As I've said before, guys, anything that is imported is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Heinz tomato ketchup, 46,000 kip. So $4.60. Oz. We need barbie sauce, do we? Yeah. Okay. We've got tomato. So that's about $3 US. Pretty sure you guys would be paying much less for it in the US. 
than that. Uh, they've shifted them around again. No beans in this aisle. Okay, there we are. I walked straight past them. They are adjacent with tomato sauce. Get the bigger tins. Better value. I get two servings out of a bigger tin with these small ones. I don't. Um, some bread, hey? Not going to show you everything that's in this store, guys, because we've still got to go and grab something to eat. There's our wholemeal bread. That's not a bad bread, actually. It does not have the price on it. It's about between th about 30 to 40,000 kip, which is three to four Aussie dollars. It's the same as what we pay in Oz, probably a little bit cheaper. Ah, uh, cereal aisle will be here yet. They have not moved that. Hello. Jesse, huh? Josh. Okay. Yeah, he know, he did just wanted to be on camera, didn't you? Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> um, haven't had wee picks for a while. Have they got any wee picks? Does not look like it. He wants to. <laughs> he still wants to yeah, be in camera. Look, see. <laughs> now you're on camera. That is crispy one. Ah, yeah. They're a bit lean on the bloody. cereal steaks at the moment aren't they very lean on it they got the rubbish shit the chop the, the shit that's full of sugar you don't want that but the stuff like oats and um wheat bix for me no I have Don't know what that is. No, oh, that's garbage. 140 grams sun kissed almonds. You're looking at eight Aussie bucks. I, I think I can do without actually. I, you're just going to stay there, dude. Six hundred and seventy-three thousand. So, how much? If, if ten thousand kip is one Australian dollar now, which is yeah. close to, so you're well, looking six, at sixty-seven 16. dollars for that. Australian dollars. About some four. things are very expensive here, more expensive than Australia and the US. But other things, one kilo of chicken fillets in Australia is about nine. 10 US, um, 10 Australian dollars now. One kilo here is three dollars. Now, four kilo of chicken fillets is twelve dollars. Four kilo in Australia is near forty dollars. Go down and get us some um, fruit and veg. There we 
we know how much the tomatoes are, Nina? Lord, Tato. Twenty-eight thousand kit. Two dollars eighty a kilo. Aussie and the lettuce. This is seventeen seventeen thousand kit for this half kilo. For half a kilo, seventeen thousand. That was seventy. It was a bit over. For half kilo. Uh, one kilo, uh, thirty thousand. Okay, three dollars for a kilo of lettuce. How are you guys in Oz going with your lettuce? You're still paying bloody thirteen bucks or so for a head of iceberg. It did get expensive. They're very expensive in Oz for their lettuces. They were all wiped out because of the floods up in Queensland. So. How you scoured now? I know you are still copping heaps of rain there. Now, let us know below what the price of lettuces are now. No, you can't buy egg because I don't like egg, honey. <laughs> you see eggs. Eggs have gone up, food. yeah. These not long ago were half this price. They have um, doubled because of um, the inflation rate and the value of the kit. Now, pre-COVID, the kit was about 7,000 kit to one US dollar. It's way up over 15, 16. 17,000 kip to one US dollar now, I think. Not sure, it's around that. Okay, guys, look what I found. Um, the advice computer shops up there. This is the main boulevard, take you down the presidential palace up to uh, Butterside, Victory Gate, Bart. This is what you're after, Banasia. Look for Banasia on Facebook. It will show you where it is, or even on Google Maps. The Australian, the city shop. They, they've got another larger warehouse shop, but this one's in the city. Not, you know, not, not far from the tourist district, actually. Once a month, or every six weeks, couple of months or so, they fill up containers worth of all uh, full of Australian stuff stuff you you won't see in any other supermarket here like yeah you will, will see Vegemite which I have found some of but other good things too that you just won't Look at this. VB, VB, to his new. Han. Bogues. Carlton. Bloody Tim Tams. Tim Tams. You're going to be paying for it, but you're going to be paying for it. You know, they're importing this stuff in from Australia. You know, and. Um, I have seen it advertised, them advertising. They let people know on Facebook, if you're following their page, when they're going to be importing stuff. So if you're living in Laos and want to buy something from say, JB Hi-Fi, something like that, want something imported, you can order JB Hi-Fi. They'll pick it up and they'll put it in with all their cargo 
in their container or whatever it is and import it into the country for you. But that is what this shop is about. It is just all things good imported from Australia. Ice magic, bloody ice magic. But you got your fountain tomato sauce, fountain barbie sauce, your master food stuff. So for you guys craving your farang food, especially the, the Aussies, Fun Asia, look them up on Facebook. Um, I was unaware that they had a city store. I know they've got a larger warehouse somewhere else. Haven't been there. I've been meaning to track this place down for a while, but when we were passing by, we just noticed it now. Had to stop in. Um, but like I said, don't expect anything to be cheap. You will be paying for it. Tim Tams, 76,000 kip at $7.60 Poz money. What you will pay for it, pay an arm and a leg for here, and you will do it, is your tropical strength air regard. I don't have to go home and stock up on it now and bring it back. I know I can get it here. Maybe I will go home and stock up on it and bring it back. I'll whack it on a map. I'll whack it on a map where you can find this place. Steak and mushroom pies. Steak and kidney pies. Steak and cheese pies. Sausages, pork sausages, beef thin sausages. They're hiding the prices. They don't want us to know. Oh, you got four sausages there. 110,000. Eleven dollars for four sausages. Yeah. Some steaks. Mr. Duck. Mr. Lamb. Mr. Lamb. That's the smallest leg of lamb I've ever seen. Two lamb chops. Sixteen dollars, nearly seventeen bucks. I think we're gonna to stick to our food. Oh we got beef mince is it? Yeah. What's the price on it? Two hundred and twenty thousand kip, what is there? A kilo? Twenty-two bucks. I reckon it's a kilo. Nene reckons it's more. 